Hi there guys, today I'm going to show you how to do Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Spearman's rank is essentially a formula to show you if two pieces of data have a relationship between them. And the normal way of doing this is to get the two pieces of data and plot them on a scatter graph and see if the points uh, show a correlation. But Spearman's rank is quicker and it actually gives you a numeric value between 0 and 1. 0 meaning no correlation and 1 meaning strong correlation. And this can save you time and effort really. So I'm going to show you this by an example. The context is over here. I have two pieces of data. I want to see if this estimate is c related to this estimate. And I'm going to use Spearman's calculator. The first thing I'm going to have to do is rank the data. And if you can see, I purposely ranked 79 millimeter data first and the 32 second. And I'll show you the reason later on. But I ranked it number 1 representing the lowest and 20 representing the highest but you can do it the other way around so 20 being the lowest and 1 being the highest but it has to be consistent for both ranks so over here I have a problem I have 3 8 and I can't have that in Spearman's so I have to average out the ranks so what I would do is the 8th rank and this represents the 9th and the 10th and add them together to get 27 and then I would divide it by 3 to get 9 and that would give me the average rank so these are all the ranks averaged out over here, 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 and here. So now what I have to do is the second data rank, which is 79, take away from the first, which is 32. This is the reason why I did 79 ranked first. And that will give me the difference over here. Now the problem with the difference over here is some of the numbers are positive and some of them are negative. So this will mess up the formula. So I need to t t turn them all into positive. And I do this by squaring the difference. So over here is all the difference squared and now they're all positive because two negatives equal positive. And now all I have to do is get the sum of all the differences. So the sum of all these numbers added together would be 1157. And from here on in it's just a job of substituting that number into Spearman's rank formula. So here's Spearman's rank formula. And 1157 represents sigma d squared over here. So the sum of the different squared. So the first thing I have to do is 6 times 1157, which gets me 6,942, and that equals the numerator over here. Then I have to divide it by n, bracket, n squared, take away 1. So n represents the sample size, and that's 20. So it's 20, bracket, 20 squared, take away 1, which equals 7,980. So I have to do 6,942 divided by 7,980, which gets me 0.86 recurring. Now the common mistake here is to think this is Spearman's rank, but there's one more step, one take away that number. So now I have to do one take away 0.86 recurring to get me 0.13 recurring, and that would be Spearman's rank, not 0.86. Now this has saved me a lot of time instead of plotting all the points on the graph, and it's quite useful because this is a numeric value, so 0.13 recurring, showing that the relationship between the two sets of data is very weak. So instead of wasting my time in doing more tests and pilot surveys, I just have to leave it because I know the correlation between these two pieces of data are weak. So thanks for watching my video. Hope it helped.